Aloha and welcome to my home. My name is Kimo and we're going to be working on some paper doily Valentine's crafts. So let's get going. These paper doily envelopes are so simple to make and I think that they give you a really, really nice result. So we're starting here with a typical Valentine's card. This one I wrote to my mom and I stuck it in this red envelope. And these paper doilies come from Dollar Tree. They come, I wanna say there's maybe five different varieties or sizes that come in a pack. And what you see here is the largest paper doily that I've got. And we're going to just simply fold the ends around our card, starting with the outside edges, then the bottom, then the top. And I'm gonna secure that with just the tiniest piece of double-sided tape so that it can stick together to give me enough time to wrap the twine around it like this. So you can see how super simple this is. It takes no time at all. And to embellish it like this, I think just elevates the idea of a Valentine's card. These little heart shaped wood stickers are so cool. They come from Dollar Tree in a pack as well. And again, it's just a really nice way to embellish your card. Here, I'm working with another shaped uh, doily. This is a heart doily that also comes from Dollar Tree in a pack. And you can see that I've used that doily to create an envelope as well. Using the same technique with the double-sided tape, I'm wrapping some twine around it and also adding another sticker from the Dollar Tree. Now for this project, I use these envelopes um, for the purposes of giving a Valentine's card as well as a postcard. But really you can use this technique for any kind of flat gift, whether it be say a gift card or maybe a framed photo of yourself with your loved one. This is such a simple project to do and I just really love our romantic results. This video is part of the Thrifting Crafty Thursday Challenge, which is hosted by Cindy at That Crafting Lady and Teresa at Teresa B DIY. These ladies are really awesome makers. I've got links to their channels in my description box below, so please go ahead and check them out. I also have a link to the playlist where you'll find videos from the other makers who are also participating in this challenge. So please go ahead, show them some love and support, and let them know that Chemocraft sent you. We're going to use some paper doilies to create gift wrap. And this is really just expounding on the idea from the previous project where I showed you how to make envelopes. Here, when we have a 3D gift or something a bit more substantial than a flat card, uh, here's a way to put your doilies together to create gift wrap. So you can see that I have actually four doilies here and I'm using small pieces of double-sided tape to put them together in a cross pattern. Now these particular doilies I actually got at the thrift store, not at Dollar Tree, but you can certainly use the Dollar Tree doilies for this project as well. You can see that I'm wrapping up the sides of the gift wrap over the box and I'm using very small pieces of double-sided tape in the corners there to wrap the bottom piece over the top. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. You'll see me flip it around, add some small pieces of double-sided tape again to those bottom corners so that we can fold in those edges and ultimately fold up that top doily piece to cover our gift. Now you can see that we have this white space in the middle of our gift and so we had a couple of options. At that point in time I could have just simply added another doily to cover that hole and use double sided tape to, uh, to adhere that down. But I decided instead to go for a thick black ribbon and that not only covers that hole but it also provides a nice simple backdrop to our wood cutout that says love. This is a great example of how an inexpensive paper doily can really make your gift look high-end. For this Valentine heart ornament, I'm going to be using several of these heart doilies from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack and I'm not sure how many are there, uh, there are in there, but there is quite a few. And I'm going to start by folding them in half. And here I'm folding one doily in half and I'm also going to use for this project some decorative paper. Perhaps you have some scrap paper, a scrap looking paper on hand or other decorative paper, even like a thick wrapping paper or butcher paper would work for this project. But I'm using that folded heart as a template because I'm going to cut out um, hearts from our decorative paper as well. 
After tracing the heart onto our decorative paper, I'm taking a scissors and cutting out that heart. But you can see that I'm cutting within the line uh, because I want to create that lacy border with the um, with the paper doily. So I want to ensure that our decorative paper heart is just a bit smaller than the doily itself. And if you're new here to my channel, aloha and welcome. I'm hoping that you're liking what you see so far. And if so, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more content on crafts and other DIYs. Now using a hot glue gun, I'm going to adhere these hearts together, uh, alternately starting with the paper doily, then moving on to the uh, decorative heart paper, and then going back to the doily. Again, I've got eight doilies in total that are folded in half, and I also have these eight um, hearts in our decorative paper. And really, my decorative paper here is more like a cardstock. Uh, the paper pack that I got had some high quality paper. And I'm just so happy that I can use up this paper because I don't think that I would really think of using this piece of paper uh, for any other project. So lesson learned, before I go out and buy any new crafting materials or supplies, I always try to see what I've got in my stash that I could use up first. And that way I feel like uh, I'm not lending to my own crafting hoarding problem. <laughs> Now with all of our doilies and our decorative hearts cut out, you can see this effect that we're getting, this beautiful 3D effect. And we're going to now create uh, a hanging mechanism for this ornament. And we're going to actually attach a little piece of a broken earring that I got in my broken jewelry stash. And taking the twine, we're going to simply uh, thread our twine through that little pink earring, which is going to be at the base of our paper ornament. So now that all the hearts have been put together, we're gonna to add our little hanging hardware, uh, or our twine. So I'm exposing the inner edge here. We're going to put some hot glue on that edge, and then we're going to carefully place that twine on the edge so that uh, we have something to hang our ornament with. I'm holding that twine in place just to allow it to dry, and once it does dry, then I want to ensure that I'm adhering the entire ornament to itself. So I'm extending that twine out to the top edge of our ornament, adding some hot glue to the paper hearts, and sticking it all together. And I'm so proud to show you our final result for our paper doily 3D Valentine ornament. It is just so cute and so appropriate for the holiday. This decorative vase uses a jar from the Dollar Tree, as well as some ribbon, a paper doily, and a butterfly sticker. I'm using two kinds of ribbon here, starting with a really thick black ribbon that I'm just going to uh, hot glue onto our jar. And I thought that, that would provide a nice base for our doily, which will go on next. I'm applying a little bit of hot glue to our paper doily, and then I'm going to stick that onto our ribbon and our vase. After that, I'm also using a narrower pink ribbon to wrap around the entire jar over the doily. And I found a pack of these beautiful butterfly 3D stickers from Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, and I just add a little bit of hot glue there and look how beautiful it is already with just some few simple materials. So I'm gonna add some filler to our vase, and here I have some pie crust weights that I bought at an estate sale a few years ago. If you've seen other previous uh, Valentine videos that I've done this season, they have made an appearance in a couple of other videos. I just really like them. But I'm just filling up our vase, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery at the top, and it's really that simple. Before you know it, here is our beautiful final result. A Dollar Tree vase, some ribbon, a paper doily, and a Dollar Tree butterfly sticker is really all it takes to make a beautiful Valentine's vase. 
If you're looking for a quick, easy, and a beautifully striking way to dress up a gift bag, it doesn't get much easier than this. I'm just going to hot glue a paper doily to the surface of our bag. Then after that, I'm going to get one of these butterfly stickers from Dollar Tree. Again, they come in a pack like that, and I'm just going to stick it on. And before you know it, you have a beautiful 3D lacy romantic gift bag. And in our final result, I just added our gift and a little bit of red tissue paper to really bring out the red and the color of the butterfly. And I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video to my channel. And wishing you happy Valentines.